Hello guys, welcome back to Ventilate. Guys, I'll just give you a quick update today. This won't it just won't be a long video. I'll probably just do a quick uh run just to show you what's up. I'm oh, sorry, sorry guys. I'm not feeling 100 percent I am very sorry for that burp. That was a little bit disgusting. Uh guys, at the end of the day, you're not gonna win every tournament. That's just the reality, right? So one of the most important thing is to time it properly. And unfortunately, I had two whales in my category. And as you can see, the guy was way ahead of me, at least one monument ahead. The other guy is about two monuments ahead. It was impossible for me to win. So that is okay. At least you win some, you lose some, but you wanna be in the top, uh, top tier bracket. Top two, top three, uh, even top five would be great. And a lot of people have been asking how to get tournaments properly, why are people up so high? You will get people that are gonna be a lot higher than you, there's really nothing you can do about it, right? So don't even try it and go, oh, maybe I can do this or that, no. Time it properly, go in later in the, in the tournament, you're gonna get less people joining, and because less people are joining during that time, uh, you're gonna more likely be able to get a spot that is pretty sweet. And just a little bit of a heads up on the Titan Souls. I've got 81 out of 120. I think I got three or four extra ones just from um, using a bit of diamonds. I thought, hey, you know, like, screw it. Why not? Let's use some, right? There you go. Let me use a couple more. And every time you upgrade that, uh, there we go. Here it See, look, I didn't even get a new one. It's still the same old ones. Uh, just, just, just the different types of old, older ones. Okay. So basically there you go, you can apply these bad boys and basically you won't be able to go up higher unless you get uh, whatever that's connected. So you might be able to skip one. I don't think I can skip this one. Uh, this has to, I can skip the bottom one possibly and maybe I have to go through this and then to be able to get up here. So yeah guys, um, I did spend a little bit like I showed you just then, just to give it a bit of heads up and um, just a bit of a pushability as it's gonna really help in the long run however for people that are under 180,000 this is gonna help you significantly so right now is a great time for you guys to start pushing and just getting as high as you can to 180,000 once you get to 180,000 things will become a whole lot easier uh, what I recommend is don't wait to join a uh, season of monuments uh, or transcendence you call it um, basically you want to jump in and join it as soon as you can. Let's say there's 270 days left on this. You want to try and make it within the 70 days. What, why I mean is that when you actually hit that, you will be able to get as many monument boosters as you can, and you're going to have a lot more monument boosters. And so that's going to level you up really, really quickly. So what you want to do is farm as much as you can, get to as high as you can, discover as many as you can so that you can get to the highest level possible. When you get to the highest level possible, what you wanna do is craft the best set that you can have for your next move. So when you craft the best set for your next move, you get ready for the next transcendence and then you come out smacking it right out of the park and go significantly higher. And that's how you keep progressing higher with each transcendence. So that's how the level of transcendence changes as time goes by. So you're gonna need at least two seasons of transcendence in order for you to get up there. Uh, for me, I was able to only uh, catch the end part of one of them and I didn't know what I was doing. But now that looking back, I would have given myself a very, very different advice because I was holding back on going into transcendence thinking that I'll wait for the new one. Uh, that was a big mistake. I should have gone in straight away, get in as quickly as possible, farm as high as you can, craft the highest set you possibly can, when you restart the new season of Transcendence, then you're gonna be able to bang it all, all the way out a lot higher. And then from there on, you start pushing again. So that is how the best strategy should work for Transcendence. So for those of you that are close to 180,000, keep that in mind, okay? You wanna get there as soon as possible, farm as high as you can. And that's it for me, guys. Not, nothing too crazy for today. Uh, There's gonna be another tournament coming up in the next two days. I'll definitely update you when that comes up. But until then, guys, just keep farming. Make full use of Titan Souls for now. I'm not sure what kind of update is gonna come out, uh, whether they think it's too OP or whether they think it's not OP enough. Uh, things will change, guys. So just keep in mind, right now is a really good time to farm and just go higher, as high as you can. So that's it for me, guys. 
things are changing, uh, make sure you change with the times and understand what's going on and really work towards your strength. Pet build for me is still the stronger one for now. And then second is clanship. Back then clanship was stronger, now they nerfed it. So I still think that pet is still the strongest as you can tell from here. And you, I was able to get back up to my top of my game. All right, that's it, guys. That's all for me for today. I'll catch you all later in the next tournament. See you all later. Make sure you drop a like, drop a subscribe. And that's going to really help me with the algorithm. Thank you very much, guys. Catch you all later. Bye-bye.